How can we use play pause in our online classes? These are some examples of how I use play pause. I use this program when I create my online orientation. Also, I use it when I make online quizzes and even when I create class announcements and instructions about how to do certain thing in the class. I use PlayPosit to assure that the students are following the instructions by viewing their grades on Canvas. On Canvas, I create a category, I call them online quizzes on Canvas, and the very first quiz I usually embed in here is a quiz for the orientation. These are the instructions that the students need to follow to sign up for, for instance, a program I use called My Math Test. And we also offer workshops, and this is the instructions on how to do that. I used to just post them as a class announcement, and after using Play Pause it to embed frequently asked questions on these videos, it helped me to make sure that the students following the instructions by looking at their grades on Canvas after they view them and I can help them with the areas that they don't understand or they need help. I also embed weekly quizzes using this program. These are short video lectures that I embed in the course and I ask usually few questions during or at the end of the lecture to ensure that they understood the topic and also make sure that they view the session. When I have a live session also, I use Play Pause it. After I record the live session, I embed questions within the recorded session just to make sure that they understood the topic. So let's take a look at one example here. I'm going to click on, for instance, the online orientation. As an instructor, when I select these links, it would take me to either preview or interplay pause program to edit or update the quiz. For right now, I'm just going to click on preview. When I select the preview, it would take me to my YouTube channel on the video that I'm presenting and when I click on play. Hi everyone, my name is Mehdi Mirfata and I'm recording this orientation to get you started with your class. The very first thing you want to do is to log into Canvas and click on your course and then read all the class announcements. You want to post your bio in the discussion board and view the link it says how to prepare your portfolio for this class and then view the syllabus. The As you can see there are these dots appear at the bottom of the presentation. These are the questions that I embedded in this presentation. So if I get this close to where the question comes you can see the question appears. Please don't put general questions there. You want to go ahead and put math questions only. So, But the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click on student bio and then you can read mine and then click on reply to post your your bios there and then you want to click on the sub. Okay, so I talked about how to prepare portfolio earlier and this is where I want to make sure that students know how to prepare their portfolio and this is being uh, frequently asked questions that students used to email me so all the common questions that you get throughout the semesters you can embed them in your orientation and as you can see there are three more questions going to appear as the students go through the presentation and once they're done with this their grade automatically get imported on canvas 
So this is another example I can show you that helped me to make sure students can follow the instructions. I'm using this program called my math test and there's a study plan exists inside this program and instead of making a class announcement I'm gonna preview this one as you can see we take the students to the video lecture which mine is in, on YouTube and when you click on this link here you can see click on problem number 11 it would bring up the last problem you did wrong uh, with your answer and correct answer there okay so that was one of them you said it's function it's supposed to be not function by the way it's function you can use the vertical test if you draw a vertical line through a graph if vertical line yeah. passes through the graph more than one point then we conclude from there it's not function that's violate the definition of function and we have a lecture on that as well but write down this reference number 11.6-26 so as you can see, this would help me to make sure that the students know how to find the reference number when implement this. And this was one of the live session actually that I was working with the student. And as you can see, the students would interact during this presentation. Uh, yeah, I, I like how it's set up, you know, so many resources for us to uh, gain access to. Um, but as, um, as I was gaining the access to it, I just got a little bit confused on, you know, okay, I took this quiz. I know I can take it over and over again, mm -hmm. but I was not aware that you can go in there and actually click on the problem and say, oh, wow, there's okay. some examples here that I can use to educate me so I can do even better. So as you can see, you can embed the students' comments during the live session and uh, start asking questions to make sure that they understood what you are presenting to them. And this is just a screenshot of the grades that get imported on Canvas as they complete these quizzes. You can see how many points they earn, if they even viewed the presentation or not, so you can reach out to them. I post my videos on YouTube channel as well as 3C Media. So you can either direct your questions in the video that you put together on YouTube or in this case 3C Media. I like 3C Media because it does caption the videos for you. I've been doing this for many years. I have a thousand videos on different topics already embedded here, which I am planning to make these interactive using this PlayPosit program. So as you can see, you have uh, many lectures all captioned here by 3C Media, where you can use them for each semester as a weekly quizzes or discussion forums to engage students with your class.